Developing tonight, Atlanta's Beltline, placing a multi-million dollar bet on hot properties on the city's west side. The money is a down payment on keeping lower income folks in the neighborhood near the Bankhead Marta station. CBS 46 special assignment reporter Sally Sears is on top of the 30 acres just bought by the Beltline. It is gorgeous up here, 30 acres overlooking the skyline where affordable homes will be built to fight the expected displacement when Microsoft opens up on its 90 acres right beyond those trees. The public goodies on the west side include the Marta Bankhead Spur Line, the west side reservoir, the Proctor Creek Greenway. The fear here though is if the west side becomes like the trendy east side, then older, less wealthy neighbors could be squeezed out. <laughs> Families like Mary Grissom and her grandson Stallone, they know property taxes could rise one day. The tax is no problem for me, but I know it's because of my age. Another problem for legacy families is complicated property ownership. Just listen to Tiffany Ingram. It had my mama name and my grandma's signature, but they passed, like my mama passed, grandma passed, and my granddaddy. So, so who really owns that property uh, now? Me and my brother. And my dad, the 30 new gone. acres the Beltline bought from Brock Built Homes lies between North Avenue and Mason Turner off Chapel Road. Includes old growth oak trees and a creekside waterfront. So what exactly will be built here? The Beltline says the neighbors will help guide what and how many homes will be built here in the months to come. Sally Sears, CBS 46 News.